A retired Argentinian colonel has kept silent about the Falklands War for over 25 years. On the eve of the conflict's 30th anniversary, Manuel Dorrego has spoken out and told EFER about details of minefields laid in 1982, which mostly remain intact. Dorrego was in charge of planting between 15 and 20,000 anti-personnel and anti-tank mines. When the war ended and military staff surrendered, I received an order to see the person responsible of minefields in the British Army, Major MacDonald. As I imagine he was going to ask for the records, I took them in a large pink folder and said, here they are. Dorrego asked himself why the United Kingdom denied they have the information and why they haven't cleared the minefields to allow local residents to walk freely. The comments made in Great Britain by I'm not exactly sure who, but by the person who has assumed responsibility for the episode, condemn the actions taken by the Argentinian military regarding the laying of the minefields and that they left without leaving any records. And this is what has motivated me to come out and speak. Three decades later, Dorrego admits that neither officials nor soldiers were prepared for the conflict or for the island's harsh conditions. That there were no preparations for troops for this conflict is true. They were not prepared for this theatre of operations. The 74-day war left close to 900 dead and changed the life of the ex-colonel. Dorrego lost his son-in-law in the conflict and after returning to Argentina, he left the army and began work selling farm machinery.